Hello, welcome to week two of the Felix Pullover Knit Along. Uh, this week's gonna be a little bit different. Emily couldn't make it this week, uh, so I'm doing a pre recorded video of some of the techniques that we're going to talk about. Um, so, the two things that we're gonna talk about this week are short row shaping and raglan increases. Okay, so I have my Felix Pullover sample here. This is my, my sweater from home. Um, and I just want to explain a couple things before you start. And one of them is um, we're going to be working two techniques at the same time for about eight rows in this sweater. So you want to pay close attention to the directions. You want to make sure that you have, um, after you have knit your ribbing, it tells you where to place your stitch markers. So you're going to have stitch markers at the points where you will be doing raglan increases and you will have a beginning of round marker. It's important that your beginning of round marker is different because you will have to, um, you will have to keep that point in mind. It will, it will tell you knit to so many stitches after the beginning of round marker to do wraps and turns. So you want to make sure that you know exactly where your beginning of round is. So keep that in mind. So just to kind of explain what, what short row shaping is and why you would want to do it on a sweater. You can see here <clears throat> that the back of my sweater is a little bit higher than the front. And that is a comfort thing. So you don't want your, um, you don't want the front of your sweater kind of riding up and pushing on your neck. So the short rows essentially, we turn it around, your short rows essentially, you are using stitches, sorry, you are using stitches to create a little, an extra kind of wedge of fabric. So you're going to take a break from knitting in the round and you're gonna knit flat for a bit. You're gonna knit back and forth for a bit instead of in the round, okay? And what that does is it creates this extra sort of slice or wedge of fabric. So the other technique we're gonna be talking about is raglan increases. So the stitch markers that they will have you place, you'll basically have, you'll be placing your stitch markers at your uh, two front shoulder seams and your two back shoulder seams, okay? And so at those points, those are going to be where you're going to be doing increases. And as you can see, these increases gradually make the fabric grow and grow and grow to accommodate the top part of your body. And the important thing to remember is that, like I said, you're gonna be working both for the first couple of rows. So pay very close attention to exactly what they're telling you to do um, so that you don't, uh, you don't get mixed up. I definitely had to do this a couple times before I got it right. Okay, so here is my sample. Uh, this is not a sweater, but it is a cowl, but I just wanted to show you how to work this in the round. So basically, you are going to knit until it tells you to do a wrap and turn. So let's say, we'll do a little bit of knitting here. This is the right side of the work. Okay, so let's say this is where they want us to do a wrap and turn. Okay, so when you're when you're knitting your work, your, your working yarn is at the back, so we're going to move it to the front. And we're going to slip the stitch off the left needle. Then we're going to move our yarn through the needle back to the back of the work. And we're going to slide that stitch back onto the left needle. That's the wrap. This is the turn literally just turning the work okay and now your working yarn is on the back of the work 
as though to purl. So this is the knitting flat part that, that's coming in. So you're gonna purl. It's gonna want you to purl a certain number of stitches. <clears throat> and then it will have you do another wrap and turn on the purl side. So to do a, a wrap and wrap and turn on the purl side, you're going to move the yarn to the back. You're going to slip the stitch off the left needle. Then you're going to move your yarn back to the front. And then you're going to slip that stitch onto your left needle. That's the wrap. And that's the turn. Okay. And you kind of want to snug it up a little bit, not too much, um, because you don't want to, you're going to have some gaps, like see you have some gaps, but you don't want them to be super big. Okay, so the next thing they're going to tell you to do is to knit to the wrap and turn that you did previously. So we're going to get there in a minute. Knit, knit, knit. And here it is. And what you're going to do is you're going to lift. If you can see, that is the wrap stitch because there's a big gap here. You're going to lift this little bar onto the needle. And you're going to wrap those two together. You're going to knit those two together, sorry. Okay. And then they'll tell you, you know, knit so many more stitches. And then do another wrap and turn. To purl, um, to purl your next wrap and turn, I'm going to show you that. Okay. So we're going to purl. I'm going to purl to the wrap and turn that you did earlier. Okay, I think it's right here. All right, yeah, so there's an extra piece of yarn over that stitch. So you're going to lift that up and we're going to put it on the needle and we're going to purl those two as though they're one stitch. There we go. I'm going to purl those together. Okay. And then again, it will tell you purl three more stitches or whatever it is, do another wrap and turn on the purl side. And you're gonna keep doing that back and forth, back and forth until all the short rows are done. I think there's eight short rows, okay? So that's the short row part. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about raglan increases. So basically raglan increases are basically the points on the shoulders where you're going to be increasing your stitches to make your sweater larger. So you start out with your, you know, however many stitches you cast on here, and then it gradually gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger to accommodate the top part of your body. So most raglan increases are, you know, knit front and back increases or make one left, make one right increases. This one has sort of a decorative uh, increase, which is just a yarn over. Um, this is what I, I would call like a simple lace pattern. Um, a yarn over is literally just wrapping your yarn over uh, an extra time, kind of creating an extra stitch. Um, but they have you doing it in a really beautiful pattern. So you get this really nice decorative lace at the increase. All right, so when you get to your, oopsie, when you get to your marker, before you slip your marker, you're gonna do a yarn over. And this is your increase, okay? It's, it's this basic. 
you're going to take your, your yarn is at the back. You're going to bring your yarn between your, your needles. You're gonna slip your marker and you're gonna knit. So you've created this extra stitch right here. It's literally just a strand of yarn draped over the needle, okay? And then you're gonna do another yarn over. And then you're gonna keep knitting. Okay. So that's your first, your first row of increases. You're going to do that on all of the, at all of the markers, keeping in mind the beginning of round marker may be different. Okay. It'll tell you in the pattern. All right. And so when you go to knit those yarn overs, I'll just show you how to do that. All right, so once you come back around to knit these yarn overs, you're gonna knit, knit, and this is what your yarn over is gonna look like. It's just a piece of yarn draped over your needle, okay? So we're gonna knit it as though it's a stitch, okay? Then you're gonna slip your marker, knit one regular stitch, and then you've got another yarn over here. And you're gonna knit that as though it's, as though it's a stitch, okay? And you're gonna keep going like that. Okay, now there are going to be points because you're going to be doing your short rows at the same time as your um, raglan increases, there will be points where you will need to um, yarn over on a purl side. So on a purl side, that's going to be a little bit different. So you'll have your yarn in the front and you're going to wrap it around the back, back between the needles. So there's your yarn over, and you're gonna continue purling. Okay. So that is a yarn over on the purl side. So you're going to continue working the raglan increases and please note that I was just giving an example of how the yarn over increases are made, but please follow the numbers of what they tell you to do. So each of these V's is a repeat. So it'll be, I believe it's a row one to eight. They want you to repeat uh, however many times for your size. And so within one repeat, they space the yarn overs out at certain intervals. And that's what creates this nice lace pattern. So please pay attention to how many stitches there are between your yarn over increases. So once you've knit the number of increases that it tells you to do for your size, you're gonna keep knitting a little bit longer until it tells you to stop and measure. So it'll give you a measurement from your neckline to where they're going to ask you to divide for the body and sleeves. So that will be your homework. So finishing this part. Uh, and then next week, we're gonna pick up dividing for the body and sleeves. And Emily is gonna talk about bust shaping and waist shaping using German short rows. So hopefully, uh, everything's on track for next week and we can get back to our regularly planned uh, episode. Uh, and in the meantime, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, shoot us an email at the store, leave a comment here, uh, or pop in the store, and make sure to tune in next week.